Right, I've done loads and loads of photos of the deer. I didn't keep videoing them. It's roughly, there's a herd of deer and they're all gathering on the hill back there. They're all sort of, I'll just zoom in a bit before I leave them alone. They're all up there now. They've all gathered. Um, some of them are on, they know I'm here. They are. See, look. He knows I'm here. Yeah. There's quite a big group of them. They've got some young ones, some of them. No stags. So I got greeted by one deer on the way and greeted by a whole family on the way home. See you again, dear. Bye. See you again. I just feel great that I've seen some. I, I, and they look well. They look very well. Nice shiny coats. So this is the Big Nolacoom. I've met several senior people on the way up. So it just shows that so it is a steady climb, but it might be what I'll do next time because it sort of, sort of levels off every now and again, you know. It's, it's a long, steady climb though, what I remember of it. But I think if I do Holford next time, I'm coming up this way. <sighs> I won't be, I've got lots and lots of walks to do. I mean, I want to do Crocombe again. I want to do West Quantock Head again. Um, I just got to plan it, you know. Now I know I can get it. Wow. £6.50, I can get here. He's peek a bit, isn't it? That's a big doe there, really big one. You can hear the water trickling. <sighs> well, the only thing I might do is um, I might get an ice cream. We get down here if he's open and then make my way. I'll keep an eye on the time if it's I've got lots of time. I'll just go around the church a bit, you know, and uh, have a little break there. I mean, okay, I could have pushed it and gone a bit later. I've got to see what the situation's like on this bus. Because on the way over, we've only really just got on it. You know? So. I mean, everyone could get on at Castle Street and they'd be, they wouldn't be able to pick anyone else up. I mean, they'd have to put more than one bus on. They ought to start putting a double-decker on. Like I said, if I went to Sand Bay the other day and back, I was the only person on it both ways. A double-decker. Now that is ridiculous. It always has been over there, apart from when the peak holiday season, when all the Butlins people are there. Pontins. Of course, you know, it's lovely and warm. It's not over hot, but my bones are so warm. You know, I just love being warm. I was right out there earlier, right out there. It is a lovely coombe to come down. I said it's a slog on the way up, but I've got a feeling there is another path, you know, you just can't see it. And it's not noticeable very easily. I'm sure there is one. I'm just videoing. I'm so happy to have been able to get over here, you know. It means so much. Because I was really, really thinking how I'm ever going to get to the the corn talks again and uh, no one said, suggested what well, I've had to find out for myself to, to get here you know by this uh, train and bus route unfortunately 
I have got my bus pass and I can I'll see you in your rail card. Get a third off. Get a third off. Yeah, I'm doing a bit more videoing. See how steep the banks are here? Just looking around in case there's any deer this side. really um, just been great we've uh, got us nice and cool here look at that lovely stream quite makes you thirsty I'm going to stop over there and get my next bottle of water out I've used one bottle and a carton of orange so far, so that's pretty good. Right, over and out for a minute everyone. A lovely tree. Over and out. A little bit more video in as we go down another comb. Steep bank there with a stream running. Running down. Two horses. And the riders passing, and it's a nice cool walk this end bit. Actually, it's a nice ending to this area. Of course, it could still be a long way down yet, and I could miss the bus by the way. It's about going on for 10 past, so I've got. An hour, just under, to get to the bus stop. And get my mask out. I wonder where I put it. It's always handy to know where you've put it in it. It's not in there. You were going to put it in there, weren't you? It's not in there. So I'm looking for my mask. I'll do that in a minute. See, there's lots of walks here. There's another walk here. Um, where you go up that way. I mean, that might be a place to get off. Uh, and then you could walk further up the road and get on the bus at another stop further along, see? Old quarry over there. Now we're reaching the stage where I was at this morning and I came up the hill from Bicknoller and I turned off here following the Coleridge way with the feather. And then when I got to the turn in for Wee Coom Coom, the Coleridge way went on and I went, I, I climbed up. I climbed up, see? You can go that way or you can go across that way. And there you go. So we're now down a full circle, everyone. We're now back at Bicknoller. I've got about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get to the bus stop. And if there's six people waiting, I doubt if I'll get on. This is the problem. And this is why they should Otherwise they're leaving people stranded. <sighs> right, so there we go. Full circle everyone. This just takes me down to a gate in a minute and then I'm back down the lane towards the shop. <sighs> so I'm going to turn off now. I'm not putting the camera away. I might want to walk a different route round the village on the way back, past the church. Um, so I'm turning off for now. <sighs>